Hey everybody, it's Brett, and now is a good time to go harvest the sauerkraut. And a couple of weeks ago, I made some sauerkraut and I put it in the pot. I have a special sauerkraut pot. Look what a nice day. And uh, put it in the basement because the basement is the perfect temperature to grow sauerkraut, which is about 50 to 55 degrees, maybe 58. But um, so the basement, because it's underground, keeps the sauerkraut at a really great temperature. Oh, we may have had another creature in here. Anyway, so there's the pot, and now I'm just going to take it upstairs and unload it. Okay, so I might just harvest a quart of this and then put the rest back because I'm feeling like I really would like to eat some sauerkraut. It's good for your digestive system, so... Um, but this has not sat for that long. It's only been in there for... It's at least two weeks, maybe three weeks, and it can go for at least a month, maybe even five weeks, maybe even six weeks. But you don't want to let it sit for too long, and so let's see what it looks like. Notice the trough around the edge? That's to seal it. So that, that bit of scum around there, that's nothing, that's normal. I'll wash those off and probably put this all back. So this is the plate that goes on it that holds it down to keep the air out of it so that it doesn't spoil. Let's have a taste. Yes, I washed my hands. Yeah, it's pretty good. I might, uh, I might just harvest a quart and take the rest back down to ferment some more. So, let's see. There's a quart jar. It's really good. But it's not that strong yet. It needs to be more acidic. This quart will do me for a while. Get the ladle out in a minute here and <clears throat> get some of those juices out of there. Remember, it needs to stay submerged. It doesn't have to be after it's this fermented, but it's good to drink the juices anyway. So cabbage naturally has acidophilus in it. And so when you create the right environment for it, 
that wants to make more reproduce and it just gets more and more acidic and I've tried making it without salt and most of the time that really failed no matter how clean the environment was so I don't do that anymore because that was ridiculous anyway because I eat salt anyway so salt don't try and don't try and eat a salt free diet I already did that <laughs> Mr. Perfecto has tried all of those all or nothing kind of ideas and they don't work. Like meat also, all or nothing. I mean if you want to get close to veganism, why not just eat shrimp and oysters and be able to get the, the B vitamins and iron that you really need. Okay, so there we go. There's a nice quart of homegrown kraut. You would pay, I don't know, at least 20 bucks for a whole quart of good kraut. And, um, so there was that. Now I'll put all the rock all the stones and the plate back on that and take it back down to the basement. So it should be noted that it takes a long time for people to cleanse and heal their bodies naturally and your digestive tract which is 30 feet long is no exception to this rule. And anyone that thinks that they can just do some quick fix and immediately be better legitimately without long-term problems like what antibiotics cause, then those people are mistaken. And it was shown, it was announced by the World Health Organization just a few years ago. Actually, it's been more like five years, maybe six years. Since they announced to the world that antibiotics are no longer effective and that they cause more problems, specifically superbugs, that are antibiotic resistant in your body. And so if you want to make it just harder for yourself in the future, go to doctors and that's what they'll prescribe to you. You'll get a quick fix and you may feel some immediate relief, but later it'll come back and bite you in the ass. So I want to thank you for joining me and um, yeah those of you that think that that there's some kind of a person that I should go to <laughs> etc believe me I can push my healing as much as I want to. If I want to start really getting on taking some of that right there increasing it then guess what? I'll get sick more often. <laughs> so I'll take it at my own pace and um, my quality of life is decent <laughs> regardless of my healing crises. See, you can't just have roses all the time when you're living a natural life and using natural products and doing natural things etc. It's not how it is. But, you keep learning. And one thing that I've recently learned is that I need to really pay attention to astrology. And soon I'm going to be buying an astrological software program. I haven't decided which one I want yet. To be able to keep me more informed on what's going on out there. And I really need to start adhering to that which is recommended with that and listening to my body instead of my freaking mind so much <laughs> really so I want to thank you for joining me bye bye